Hi everyone and welcome back to some Marcellization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. And I think we should consider working the campus once our capital grows. We'll check the yields once that happens on the next turn. And we found another luxury. You know, it might actually be worth settling a city somewhere around here. We could get both mercury and diamonds. It's not a terrible idea, actually. I'm almost considering sending our settler there instead. That would take 10 turns. It's not a bad idea. The alternative is settling on one of these tiles. The yields from crab aren't really that good. So I think I would prefer this location right here, because then we could get stone, we could get the deer. I think that would be better, and the city would still be coastal. We'll see. We could always just get another settler once we finish the theater square. That is a possibility, we need more cities, not just these. And I certainly want the luxuries. We don't have diamonds or mercury, so it would be a new luxury for us. Anyway, let's get some farms because this city needs to grow a little bit more than this. And we'll lock it right away. Alright, we'll need one more. The granary will be done in 8 turns. And our capital is about to grow. So let's see if we want to work the campus. Do we want to work the campus? We could. That's plus 2 science. As you can see, 25. It just doesn't show here. But it's certainly there. But we'll slow down the city growth by 4 turns. I don't like that part. Let's wait for some more growth then. Once we finish recorded history, we can pick up natural philosophy. And we definitely will, because we have a large adjacency bonus for our campus. So that is definitely worth picking up. Anyway, one more farm, because we kind of need it. So there it is. That also gives us a boost to feudalism, because that requires six farms, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it does. And we lock the other one as well. The city will be a little bit low on food, but it doesn't have to be a huge city. I mostly needed it for the canal, because we will get a harbor in our capital eventually. Just not yet. And we cannot use the writer again, unfortunately. We'll have to wait for the amphitheater, which we will get soon-ish. Alright, fingers crossed for something good from the goody hat. And we got yet another one. It's a little bit weird that... The AI didn't scout this area, but... Hey, that's good for us. Now, we will almost definitely have to attack one of the AIs and take some cities. I'm not sure who the easiest target is going to be just yet. But we'll have to do it, because if we just sit and do nothing, AI will outtake us, outproduce us, outculture us, out everything. Which means we have to conquer at least some of them. Not sure who is going to be yet, but we'll see. We got some more time to prepare. Oh, barbarians. That's kind of bad news. We do have an escort, but I don't like it too much. Okay, then. Also, I think we should get archery sometime soon and, you know, actually upgrade the slinger. That would be nice. Yeah. So, let's maybe go and secure the luxuries. We got a recon unit, that's not very useful. But I guess we can still use him. Alright, I suppose we'll still use him. I would have preferred a boss, but... I guess you can't have everything you want all the time. Alright, one turn to finish our next civic. We got one more build. I think we should get a mine. Or a farm on this tile over here, because this tile gets a double bonus from the natural wonder. So that makes sense, I think we should go for that. Alright, can we go this way? Not really, there's nothing there. Just ice and snow. Let's go south with the scout. We still have to make contact with more AIs. Yeah, Monty is denouncing us. Why is he even doing that? Oh yeah, because we have different governments. I don't care. We are friendly history, with Gilgamesh. Well, not really Amsterdam friendly, but neutral. To and there's recorded history. 
Let's switch. Let's have a look. What are we going to switch? I still want at least one more settler. But at the same time... I really want that campus bonus. And I'd like to keep the great scientist points. Because we have to get Galileo. And I think he's going to be next, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's going to be next. So we'll have to beat whoever is going to be next. Well... I guess we can take a few extra turns to recruit a settler. I just need the extra science, so we'll get the extra science. 28.6, that's much, much better. We are only like 4 science behind number 1. No, we are 10 science behind Gilgamesh, who's number 1. We have to catch up. He has 19 techs, we currently have 15. Alright then, and civics, defensive tactics, I suppose we should finish that by now. And builder, yep, we'll improve this tile down here with a farm. And anything else? Yep, go south. Oh, we can grab the barbarian camp. Sure. Thanks for the gold. No idea why the spearman left the camp, but that's his problem, not mine. And we got yet another goodie hat. Let's send our other scout then. We might get something useful out of that. Hopefully. And we'll send the scout east. He can pick up a promotion, actually. We can do it on the next turn. The Spearman will likely attack us, but I don't really care all that all much. We got apprenticeship. No so now we can actually build the industrial zones. And we certainly will. But let's finish the commercial hub first. Grab that farm. And we should work that tile right away. Because it will have two food, one production, two culture and two gold. We are already working it. Sounds good. Finish the commercial hub. And what is our next research going to be? Let's get archery. That's literally only one turn. And we should really upgrade that slinger by now. Can't go through here anymore. But it was still worth it for the goodie hut. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh yeah, we still have to load the one to the west. We found China. Alright, good. Let's see if we can stay friendly with China. That would be nice. We need some friends in this game. May the forces of evil become confused. And we got archery, as well as defensive tactics. Let's pick up that promotion. Now nah, let's grab the hut. We got a boost to celestial navigation. That's not too bad. Yeah, that is sort of useful, I suppose. Let's research celestial navigation then, because we need a harbor in at least one city. And our next research is going to be feudalism. Because that will improve our farms. By quite a lot, in fact. And it will also give us serfdom, which is a very nice policy. Alright. So, let's move. Do we want to settle here or go east? We have to decide, like, in the next two turns. Upgrade. And we should get started on the industrial zone. But I would also like to use the writer ASAP. So, we'll build the amphitheater and then we can get started on the industrial zone. Sounds good. Mostly because we already have the great writer waiting. I don't want him to go to waste. And we could use the extra culture. Alright, let's go back then. 28 science. We need one more campus sometime soon. But it will have to wait a little bit longer. Let's keep moving. And we'll explore to the south. I do like this island a lot, but I think we'll go for the luxuries first. Amenities. Zero amenities in Moscow. That's not good. Zero. Yeah, okay. We should definitely go for the luxuries. We are at zero amenities in our capital. Yep, it's decided. We're going for the luxuries. They are just too good to ignore. So, off we go then. It will take a few extra turns, but that's fine. So where the heck is this barbarian camp? It's, it has to be somewhere around here. That's obvious. If there's a luxury here, I will settle that for sure. But if there isn't, then I think I'll pass. We'll grab the promotion. And let's go look for some more goodie hats. 
I don't think we'll find many more goodie hats in this area, but hey, who knows, maybe we will. Seems unlikely, but we might as well try. And if nothing else, we can look for more AIs. Because we can still find some. One AI did get eliminated. So take that into account. And we met Pedro. Okay then. Let's have a look. Where is he exactly? That's China. He is right here. So he is actually one of our closest neighbors. If not the closest neighbor we have. Alright, that's interesting. Can we stay friendly with him? That would be nice. Gilgamesh will still not accept a delegation. Alright. Pedro should. Yes, he will. And open borders. Like so. Good enough. He has autocracy, so we'll get a penalty for a different government. And the minus five because of bad first impressions. Great. Well, Assyria has oligarchy, but he will not accept a delegation, which is disappointing. All right, maybe another time. Doesn't matter. Let's move on. What do you want? Oh yeah, I think she likes us, for whatever reason. She likes saves that engage in espionage, but we are not doing any espionage because we literally cannot. Okay, so celestial navigation. That unlocks the harbor. What are we going to do in Moscow? Probably get a trader. Yep. I mean, that was kind of the point of getting the commercial hub. To get another trader. And we should definitely send some trade routes to the AIs. Oh, and you know another reason to start a city here? We should be able to send a trade route to Assyria. I mean, to Sumeria. And we found Cleopatra. And since Sumeria is the most advanced AI, we'll get bonus science, because that's our unique ability. As Russia, we get bonus science or culture. Depending on how many techs or civics the civ we are trading with has. Plus one for every three. Let's have a look. Yeah, this part right here, the Grand Embassy. So if we get a city right here, we should be able to send some trade routes. Hatosa, train a pikeman, alright? We also got a quest to send a trade route to Geneva. I would like to get that one done, because Geneva is a really nice city-state. Well, it gives us science, but also plus 15% science when we're not at war. And we could really use that part. I would like to use that part. Anyway, back to research. What should we go for? Finish mathematics, because that makes sense. And let's go grab... That goodie hat. Fingers crossed for something useful. We need a boss that would be useful for us. A boss that's otherwise hard or tricky to get in our specific situation. That might be the last goodie hat we'll get in this game, but I guess we'll find out. We should be able to find that barbarian camp by going through here. Hopefully. I might be able to handle this just with the archer. It's a little bit risky without waiting for a melee unit, but we don't really have the time to wait for melee units, to be honest. Not really, we don't. One more turn. And let's move the settler. Which exact tile do we want to settle on? We will not get fresh water, unfortunately. I guess we'll settle right here, because then we'll get diamonds and wheat immediately and I won't have to buy the wheat. We will also have both crabs in range and the fish in range. Yeah, I think this is the best location and we'll also get another wheat to the southeast. This is definitely the best location. All right, now I don't want that. Oh, that's just the galley, but it can't move anymore in this direction. Okay, that's fair. Where exactly is Sumeria other than having press love? We already know that part. They have to be somewhere over here. This is a very strange map. Is this like one big continent and we are the only ones who got shafted with an island start? Seems like it. 
I'm really starting to think that this is a big continent and we are the only ones who started on an island. And no, I'm not sending an archer on his own when there are three warriors waiting for us. Let's keep moving. Is this religion actually any good? If I were again Can we faith by anything? Probably not. Let's check what exactly that religion is. Let's have a look. That's the one. Let's see. Is it actually useful? Not super useful, no. Okay then. Never mind. We finished the amphitheater, so Pop the Great oh, Writer. And what are we going to build next? Industrial zone. So there are a few options here. We got one really nice spot for an industrial zone, but I think I'll use this one with Moscow instead. So what we could do is get another industrial zone right here. And there will be three adjacent mines eventually. Which means it will get plus three. So this is just as good. I could also grab a builder really quickly and then chop the forest before we start an industrial zone. That's not a bad idea. Do we have serfdom? No, we do not have serfdom. Oh yeah, we have natural philosophy. I'll just recruit a builder without serfdom. Oh wait, we are about to finish feudalism. That will give us serfdom. Yeah, okay, we can start a builder and we'll switch to feudalism for a few turns. I like that plan. Can we get another quick builder? Six turns. I would have to delay the trader. We do have enough gold to just buy a builder, so we can also do that. That's a possibility, yes. Or we could do both. You know what? Let's actually recruit a unit or two because we have no army, like literally no army. The Spearman is a bit of a crappy unit, but we don't have a big choice. We don't have iron, we don't have horses, and I need some melee units. It will have to do. As for our other city, let's have a look. We don't have a good location for a campus here, unfortunately. So we could just get started on an industrial zone, but there's no real good location for that either. I could in theory build it right here and it would get plus two eventually, but I'd rather not. In fact, I would say this is the best location for it because it will get plus two eventually. The problem is that this city will be low on food, and I need to use the plains for farms. I kind of really do. As an alternative, we could go for a harbor. It will give us yet another trade route. Or we could recruit another unit or two. Or a quadrium. No, let's get a spearman. I need a few more units, even if they aren't very strong. Anyway, back to research. What should we go for now? Military tactics isn't a bad idea. We could probably get a boost for this. All we have to do is kill a barbarian with a spearman. So how about we do that? And then we can switch to stirrups or to education. How's that great scientist coming along? Okay, he's still available. We'll have to pass on this guy because I do not want this guy. I want Galileo. Right, let's do five turns in military tactics and then we'll switch to something else. That sounds good to me. Alright, and let's keep exploring in this direction. And this will be our city right here. We might want to buy two tiles immediately, otherwise Geneva might get the wheat. So, I guess we'll do that. No AIs in this direction still. Next. Feudalism is almost done. So we'll pick up Serfdom. And we have to wait one turn before it kicks in. And we got stirrups boss because we finished Feudalism. That's what it armor. does. Now, do we give up the Great Scientist points or do we give up Natural Philosophy? I really don't want to give up the campus bonus, so we'll give up inspiration temporarily. We can pick it up after our next civic research. So serve them down here. And we have to wait one turn before we buy builders. 
and our next research, we could go for something quick, like theology, and switch back. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for theology. Then we can switch back to great scientist points in two turns. I need to make sure that I'll get Galileo. That's so important right now because we have to catch up. And that's easily the best great person to catch up with, especially with a spot like this. That will be worth so much science. Okay, we found some Brazilian units. And let's get the city started. Done. Alright, and we only have to buy one tile. I really like that part about Russia. It's amazing. You know, I think we should buy a builder here. To improve the luxuries. Yeah, but let's wait one turn. We'll get started on a granary. Because otherwise this city will take a really long time to grow. And which tile do we want to work? Yeah, probably the marsh. We can also remove that marsh to get some more food. That will easily give us plus one population instantly, as soon as we clear the marsh. The downside is that clearing the marsh expands one builder. Use, or build, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so one turn and then we'll buy the builder. Or two builders. Can we afford three? No, I don't think so. Alright. Here's Preslav. Are these pillaged? These are the ziggurats. Yep, these are pillaged. And he didn't repair them? Alright. Whatever. That's his problem, not mine. A few more turns in military tactics. And let's grab the builders. So, first of all, in Novgorod. That's going to be how much? 280 gold. Yeah, we can only afford two builders. But oh well, that's 10 builds. That is still pretty good, I would say. And the spearmen will go east. And the second builder in Moscow. We still have to improve the fish. And a few other tiles. I would like to get some more mines. Yep, Moscow works. Fine, Moscow. 295. And that's that. And then we can switch to our previous policy on the next turn. As for our capital, yes, I know we need amenities. We are working on it. Calm down. Oh yeah, and this guy has to chop the forest, because that was the general idea behind this. Can we work on something else first? Well, kind of. But not entirely. What if we get some of these projects? Campus Research Grants. District-based project which provides science and great scientist points. Maybe we should give it a shot? I mean, considering we really need Galileo, it might not be a terrible idea. And then we can chop the forest to speed it up. You know what? Let's give it a shot. I never actually used that. So we'll give it a shot. Why the heck not? For science. Quite literally. <laughs> Alright, let's explore this island continent or whatever that is. And our galley will just chill around here. And we'll go northeast, I think. Some barbarians over here. So where the heck does Sumeria have all the cities? Surely they have to be somewhere around here. There's theology. And we can change back to Great Santis points. Yep, sounds good. Confirm. Alright, and we can actually kill the barbarian scout to get some experience. And the promotion apparently now. As for our next civic, let's see, medieval fairs, civil service, we will get 10 population, but not yet apparently. Yeah, it's the housing, we would need plus one housing. Well, we can get it, but not yet. What about the trader? We could trade with Brazil, and this will improve our relations. I would like to get friendly with at least one AI, so let's send a trader out to Brazil, even if it's not the most amazing trader out of all times. It will still help us be friendlier. And Moscow, how's housing? Yeah, we need a granary for housing. And let's work on Geneva. We can also get plus two science from Hatosa, but we'll get plus two science from Geneva as well. 
let's work on Geneva because I want that 15% bonus. It's nice. All right, let's go, people. We need at least one more turn in the military tactics, possibly two turns. And we found another city. So improve the luxury on the next turn. What do you want? Oh yeah, he likes us because we're not competing for the wonders he wants. Because, you know, we got other priorities at the moment. Having said that, he's still unfriendly, unfortunately. Grab the amenities. Should we work that tile? Well, maybe. The city will still grow in two turns. Let's work that tile. That will speed things up. Yeah, 12 turns to finish the granary, as opposed to 60. And I will pass on Great Scientist. Because, like I said, we need Galileo. We will lose... how many points? We will lose 24 points. Which means we'll have just under 100. The Aztecs have 62. I assume the animate player will pick up this person. Pass. So, one more turn in military tactics and then we can switch to something else. Not sure what that's going to be, but we'll find out when we get there. Here's another Spearman. And what do we want to build? I'm actually tempted to just build a harbor here. If we build a harbor on the north side, we could then get two other districts on the Tundra tiles. It's not a bad idea. And the harbor will still give us plus one trade route capacity. I think we'll do that. There's no good location for an industrial zone here. Unless I remove one of the farms, I don't want to do that. Let's get that harbor. Why not? Alright, so one more turn in military tactics. Let's go chop that forest. And explore a little bit more with the galley. Sure. Maybe heal the scout, I wouldn't want him to die. Next. Two turns to finish campus research grants. We should probably switch to something else before we chop the forest. Because this will be a bit of a waste of 70 production. What can we get? We could get a temple, but honestly, I don't really need faith because there's nothing we can spend it for. We could get walls, there is one boss that we need. Hold on, chopping this forest might speed up the granary instead, which I wouldn't mind. Let's switch... Oh yeah, we could switch to the builder, I suppose. We don't have served them anymore. But... That's fine. It doesn't say which city is going to get the production, which is slightly unfortunate. This tile is three tiles away from both the cities, so there's no way to tell which one is going to get it. Okay, we got production towards the builder. That's okay. We don't have served them, but... That's acceptable. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next part. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.